Hey guys, Donald McGuinn here. I wanted to come to you guys and show you how to add icons to your menu items. Uh, this is a really simple process and Themeco has made it super easy for you to do this in just a few clicks. So right now I've actually start, got, a, got a page and I've gone ahead and just used the default header that Themeco has provided. Um, you can find this in their template section on the bottom left hand side of the headers page right here. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate back to that that I have. Okay, so once you are in your navigation inline element, so I've got mine right here, uh, and this is just my main menu. I'm going to go ahead to my top link section, navigate to the graphic, and I'm going to just turn the graphic setup on. Now you have two options. You can do font awesome icons, or you can do an image. Images have to be a specific size, uh, most likely very small, like a favicon, um, probably around 24 pixels. And if you if you need to figure out what size they're using, you can inspect your element, and you can find out exactly what size they're using for their icons. So they're using 30 by 30 with a little bit of padding around it. Let's see if we can actually find out what the actual size is. So I would say like maybe a 25 by 25 would be good. Make it 50 by 50 and that way you can turn on retina display. So 25 by 25 or 50 by 50 would be good to go for your uh, icon size. So from right now I've already enabled the graphic setup and I'm going to keep it on font awesome. So from here you have a couple of new uh, items that you can customize. You have your margin, you have your graphic icon, text shadow, and if you go to the interactions, you have a graphic section to where you can actually change the animation of when you hover over top of it. Right now I've got scale up and it kind of just flashes it for a quick second. So you can actually change that to be scaled down to where it just comes down a little bit. Uh, you can flip it Y, which means you'll flip it sideways. Or you can flip it X, which means you will flip it up and down. Now, some of you may be noticing that on this reviews one, when you hover, it's a different icon. And that is all done through your menu when you set it up in WordPress. Same with contact us. And let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So after you've gone ahead and do your top links and you turn on your icons, you may see some uh, hand pointers here. And that's just the default one that they have it set to. Or you may see some X's. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and change this, these icons. So let's go back to our dashboard underneath of the menu section. And right here I've got my example menu. So you're going to have this as your main menu, but I'm just using this one as an example. So underneath of our home, the icon primary and the icon secondary is where you want to put your font awesome selections. The image primary and the image secondary is where you're going to put the full URL address, including HTTP and everything, um, all the way down to the .png file or .jpg file that you want to use. The whole entire URL is going to be here. And if you're going to be using a custom image, you have to put the width. Okay, so if you don't, it's going to be zero. Just put uh, the width without the PX as they state here. So if you have a 25 by 25 pixel high and wide image, you're just going to put 25 here, 25 here. Okay. I am going to stick with Font Awesome for now. Um, so I've gone ahead and I've chosen my icons. Now you may be thinking, well, how do I know what they look like? Font Awesome has a great cheat sheet that I will link down below in the comments that you can go ahead and you can pick which one you want. So if you're looking for uh, the home icon, you can use Command F or Control F on a PC to search the page and you can look for home. So right now I found this home icon right here. It's called FA Home. Now they're um, in the WordPress menu editor. They're not going to include the FA. So all you have to do is just type in the word home right here. So I'll just type in home and I've got home. Type in home again and there it is. 
go through this with the rest of all of your other URLs. Right now I've got a question circle, um, and I can actually change that to a circle outline. And I'll show you what the difference is between those. So we have three. We have a question circle, which is filled in. Question circle outline, which is an outline of a circle around the question mark. And FA question is just the question mark alone, no circle. So I've already gone through and done all of my icons, including a submenu icon, so that you can actually see what it looks like. Um, go ahead and navigate through all those, make sure they are what you want, and then click Save Menu. Let's go back to our header that we have. And we're going to go ahead and find it first. I have so many. Um, go into our navigation inline. And we can see that we have those icons that we just did. See how it's an outline now. And if you hover off, it's filled in. That's what that image primary and secondary do. Uh, same with the reviews and the contact us. Now, if you want menu icons for the sub menu um, right here, we'll go ahead and turn that on. So we have sub links on the menu, and we have a graphic section. It's just as easy as the first one. Go ahead and enable it. You can do uh, font awesome or your own image. You have your same uh, design options: graphic margin, icon text shadow and interaction and when we do that we get our icon if your icon is too close to your to your text such as this use the um, non-linked graphic margin option and add a little bit to your right pixel right margin pixels I've got 10 in between there it used to be four so that's how easy it is to set up the font awesome icons. Let's go ahead and I want to show you the image part. So let's go to the headers and we're going to go to my um, Apple menu. Second bar, navigation inline, uh, top links, graphic. So I've got this set on image and there's really no options for that. I don't have a set of retina ready because it would shrink it too small and I'm just grabbing these off of uh, Apple's website. I don't have a secondary for the um, for the icon. See if I hover it you get that black square. I don't have a secondary so I'm just gonna keep that off. So right now I've just got a primary. Um, same thing you just enable it, switch it to the images and then you're back into your menu. Let's go to the app, uh, the Apple menu. Let's go to the Apple sub menu. And you can see I have all of my menu icons, my menu items here. So right now you can see the icon primary and secondary is stuck on the hand pointer. That does not matter as long as you have the image option checked. So I've got my icon primary, it includes everything all the way down to the .svg. I don't need an image secondary, so I'm not going to waste any time putting in an image URL there. The height is 38 by 54, and that's the actual height of the SVG image. So it's going to constrain it to those properties. Uh, and I just did this for all the rest, as you can see here, all the rest of the images as well. Really simple. On how to do that. They're all there. And that is how we achieve that look. And I know there's going to be questions on how I got the the images on top. Uh, what you have to do is you inside of your menu top links uh, setup instead of it being a row which uh, you have to make it a column. And you have to wrap the children. So we're going to column, wrap children so it doesn't kind of over overflow here a little bit, and then you guys are good to go. Because I know that's going to be a very popular question. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. If you have any questions, uh, don't, don't be afraid to private message me on Facebook 
Uh, comment down below if you have any questions. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.